Victoria's forests are some of the most carbon-dense ecosystems in the world and are logged by the government agency Vic Forests. Native timber is the ultimate renewable resource. Vic Forests claims it regrows everything it cuts down, part of its legal obligation. We invest millions of dollars to reseed and replant to grow the forest back. Oh, poor old tree. But conservationist Margaret Blakers doubted that and investigated. What I was looking for was to see what happens after a forest is logged. Under freedom of information laws, she obtained documents showing between 2013 and 2017, 30% of logged areas weren't regrown within three years. The government says no more than 15% fail and need some kind of remedial treatment. We found twice that failure rate. Ms Blakers also wanted to know whether Vic Forests was regenerating coops as it claimed, so she hit the road. What we found was that in many cases, those uh, forest areas that supposedly had been regenerated were not. This is one of the coops investigated by Ms Blakers. It was officially counted as regenerated three years ago, but there's hardly a eucalypt in sight. Instead, it's completely dominated by these wattles literally deforestation, so turning what used to be a eucalypt forest into a grassland, weeds, blackberries, bracken. Ms Blakers and her colleagues found dozens of cases like this. But when the regulator investigated some of the cases, it determined the failed regeneration wasn't something it could act on. Vic Forest has gifted the trees, it sells them, it makes the money from that and is supposed to regrow them, and it doesn't. A clapped out, weed infested, you know, burnt bit of uh, forest it might have a negative impact on water quality and quantity and can even increase the likelihood and severity of forest fires. Vic Forests said in a statement it regenerates all harvested forests through an extensive process and always follows the law. Michael Slezak, ABC News.